Okay, this is the incredibly charming War Memorial Park Zone in West Bridgewater, part of something that's called the Nunkatusset Gateway. Completely beautiful stonework. The base circuit sort of passes this there's an array of these little pocket parks that are worthy of greater exploration in West Bridgewater and Bridgewater. So we're going to take a look at this one and maybe get to another one. Or maybe we'll wait till spring. It's really kind of like an urban park. Let's work our way along some of the features. They've set it up so the river gets diverted through this elaborate array of millwork canals. It's like something out of a Kurosawa movie, Dreams, the uh, water wheel sequence. It's about as close as the Commonwealth gets to it. And looking back at the impressive bridge, Here's a little stairway to the water. The river's got quite a lot of flow in it. And here is this hilariously complicated stone flowing work. It's like a remnant sculpture to colonial era Yankee ingenuity. This is all this had a purpose. It was basically like a foundry for making shovels or something. And you can see all this flow coming out of a couple of different spots. The river gets diverted works its way over there. It's like a, it's become a remarkable water sculpture. But really it had a practical purpose at one time, I'm sure. Look at the life in that sluice way. Now I'd have to say this is one of the more charming things you're likely to find here. Really an elegant old stonework. And so then after examining these wonderful roaring sluice ways, here's another one diverting over this way. God, what were they thinking? See, it heads down the river like that. And there's the diversion. And yet another flow diversion over there. We have a strange old covered bridge thingy. Yeah, I don't think there's really another place quite like this in the Commonwealth. Again, I keep thinking of Kurosawa.
Maybe you will too. So yeah, it careens down along this way. Yet another joining of the river. Almost like a mandala or some such thing. This has got to be the pride and joy of this community. It's pretty impressive. The Estabrook family and the Bridgewater Garden Club had a role in this. This could be the Yankee equivalent of a English garden folly. Ever more complicated spillways and stuff. Yeah, this is a place for ceremonies or something. Look at the stonework over here. Little bits of gnome stonework. There's another walkway down to the water's edge. A glimpse of the little mini covered bridge again. A little well, a wishing well. It's like a Fantasia. It's hilarious. It's as if each little facet is somehow just a little bit more appealing than the prior one that you noticed. There's a funny little hobbit hole passageway. There's whimsy involved in this. A strange kind of late 19th century whimsy almost. Now there's the river heading off towards the sea. Look at all this stonework. And you eventually make a round through here. And there are even more relics. An odd old stonework house over here. Yeah, this is a pretty extensive foundry. Or something at one time. Yeah, it's an old statue plinth. Missing its statue. Yeah, there's all kinds of weird relics. And there you have a performance bandstand by the river. I tell you, this is a very impressive little place. And then finally, it kind of carries you in a circle back to the parking lot where there are all these relics. There's some piece of stone that the early shovels were bashed out of. <laughs> the Ames family and their elaborate saga of early American go-getterism comes to its epicenter around in here. You had Deacon Samuel Edson imposing himself on the place from Miles Standish. He was one of the 56 shareholders and a major pest in the Puritan church. 
heart be still. Warwickshire brought him here. So yeah, this is some mysterious Euromut epicenter. Beautifully done. And the whole thing, the centerpiece for it all, would appear to be this gathering of relics. You have the whimsy of the wishing well, and a bunch of stuff over here. We got the park rules, watch your kids, no bikes or horseback riding, come on, the thing's tiny anyway. Put your bicycle rack, bikes and bike racks only. Don't mess with the gardens and stuff. Clean up after your pooch. Open fires by permit only and get out of here after sunset. Function use is through permission only. So anyway, the, the heart of it all is this bunch of relics. These are evidently old foundry relics that had a role in shovel making. This is the land of garden tools and shovels of 49ers and all that fine stuff. Early American colonial manufacturing. This is it. Our early version of the Ruhr.